the richest man who's ever lived on the planet Earth. Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa, yes. He was a king from Mali. Mansa Musa passed through Egypt. Mm. He bankrupted the Egyptian economy because every poor person he saw, he gave them gold. Now, how does an economy function? The word economia, mm. Latin root, means the study of lack. You cannot have an economy if someone is not lacking. Yeah. Because he cancelled the lack in Egypt, he bankrupted the economy because money could not flow. Money typically flows from someone who is wealthy to someone who is poor or from someone who is poor or someone who is wealthy. There's that diffusive movement of money that is necessary for an economy to exist. The moment you find an equilibrium, you cannot have an economy. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the incredible story of Mansa Musa, the tenth third emperor of the Mali Empire, who is often regarded as the richest person in history. But how did he amass such immense wealth? Join us as we explore his life, his empire, and the legacy he left behind. To understand Mansa Musa well, we first need to look at the Mali Empire during his reign from 1312 to 1337. The empire was strategically located in West Africa, rich in resources like gold and salt. These resources were crucially for trade, making Mali a central hub for merchants. From across the region, the empire wealth was not just in its natural resource but also in its control of a vital trade routes that connect North Africa to Sub-Saharan Africa. Mansa Musa was born into a royal family which set the stage for his future leadership. His early life was marked by education and exposure to various culture which could later influence his policies as emperor. He learned the importance of trade and diplomacy skill that would prove invaluable when he ascended to the throne. Masa Musa became emperor after the mysterious disappearance of his predecessor Abu Bakr. His rise to power was not without challenge. He faced initial strife and the need consolidated his authority. However, through strategic reform and a focus on trade, he quickly established himself as a formidable leader. Now, let's talk about the source of Mansa Musa's incredible wealth. The Mali Empire was home to some of the richest gold miners in the world. Gold was so abundant that it became a key driver of the empire economy. Additionally, the control of trade routes allowed Mansa Musa to tax merchants and goods flowing through territory, further increasing his wealth. Agriculture also played a role as the empire was able to sustain itself and generate surplus for trade. One of the most significant events in Mansa Musa's life was his pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324. This journey was monumental not just for its religious significance but also for its sheer skill. Mansa Musa traveled with thousands of people and a caravan of camels laden with goods. His generosity during the pilgrimage, especially in cities like Cairo, left a lasting impression. He distributed gold so lavishly that it reported caused inflation in the regions he passed. He distributed gold so lavishly that it reportedly caused inflation in the region he passed through, showcasing the immense wealth he commanded. Mansa Musa's influence extended far beyond his wealth. He was a patron of education and culture, contributing 
to the establishment of center of learning such as Timbuktu is Rhine market a golden age for the Mali Empire where trade, culture and Islamic scholarship flourished. Mansa Musa legacy continues perception of Africa rich history. Masa Musa journey to becoming the richest person in the world is a fascinating tale of leadership, wealth and cultural impact. Understanding figures like Mansa Musa help us appreciate the complexity of history and the riches of African heritage. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and share your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.